background, there is uh, Strike Noir and uh, Destiny Gundam. Those will be coming over the weekend. I just finished Strike Noir yesterday. Um, yeah, and then there's all my other ones I've built so far. There's the Astrea Type F, but I actually changed it a little bit. It's battle damaged now. Even though I, I fucked up the shield because I didn't. I was in. Uh, here, I'll even show you. Like, I originally I was just I got those gun markers and I was just trying it on some plastic and I didn't realize that this was part of the um the shield like it's like the pieces fell off so I guess I just didn't notice it was part of the shield but uh here's the shield like there's all the battle damage I did to it um I think it turned out really nice I didn't do as much damage to the Astria itself uh. I just did like some shoulder, some shoulder, uh, stuff, but I mean, I think it turned out pretty well, um, for what I did. I mean, this is my first time trying it, and I, I use incense, and, um, uh, incense, I think I mainly just used, and, and I used a, a router tool, but, uh, besides that, I think it turned out pretty well. There's probably gonna be, probably should be more battle damage on it, obviously, like, he wouldn't just have his shoulder hit. But, um, it turned out pretty well. I'll take, uh, event I know I keep on saying this, but I will eventually be able to take up some better pictures. Oh, and one thing I guess you probably didn't notice is that I don't really like how the GN Blade was on the, um, sword part of it, so I just attached it to the, um, shield. So it's like a GN sword shield, it's more like the Exia. Then you just put it in. Bam. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, and like, you can just like flip it up and it's like he's in Blade. So, uh, I think it turned out pretty well. But anyway, back to what I was really doing. So, E3. 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 Um, so, E3. I was a, uh, before uh, Microsoft came on. I was scared that they wouldn't really have many things to show. And I and in all honesty, I thought that Sony would take E3 this year. But to my surprise, Microsoft had a hell of a lot of good things to show, and it was an awesome show. Um, they announced tons of exclusives: Splinter Cell con uh, Conviction, um, Alan Wake. Alan Wake just looked awesome. I, I was, I was a, mm, cause I haven't heard about Alan Wake in a long time. And when I first saw the trailer way back, I just thought, eh. But they actually showed a demo, and man, that looked really good. Um, they also announced this new thing called Natal, which is this new camera that you can buy for your 360, and it just looked, it was amazing. Like it, it, can, it recognizes your voice, your face everything like that and they added a tech demo of this kid named Milo by Molyneux, uh, Peter Molyneux and it was just crazy like the like the lady w went up to the TV and he's like hey whatever uh, hey Milo and she's like and he said hey whatever her name was and um they actually had a whole conversation and then she went up to the water and she just like moved her hand around and the water was moving and she drew a picture and put it up to the camera and Milo actually grabbed the picture and recognized what it was it was it was really cool. It's kind of hard for me to remember a lot of the Microsoft conference. I don't know why. It's just like they they showed a lot of stuff, and it was like two days ago, which is kind of sad. But um, I just don't remember. But um, they did show a lot of things. They showed an English version of Final Fantasy Thirteen. Um, they said and they said it was coming out uh, spring two thousand ten. So that was cool. Um, man. Oh, they announced a new Metal Gear for the 360, Metal Gear Solid, or Metal, I think it's not Metal Gear Solid, I think it's called Metal Gear, I don't know, but, um, Metal Gear Rising, that features, uh, Raiden as the main character, um, that looked really good, they announced Crackdown 2, I really like Crackdown, um, so I was happy to hear about that, uh, what else did they announced, I mean, they, they announced, like, Facebook for, um, Xbox, they announced Twitter, um, they announced just a lot of, like, um, other menial, um, games, 
that were I thought was cool. I think I mean they and like the announced this free thing that we get on Xbox. It's this racing game. So that was cool. Um what else? Like I said, it's, it's, I don't know why, but it's just like I went, I go blank when I'm thinking about the Microsoft conference, and it was my favorite out of all of them. So I mean, that's the sad part. Uh, they showed they showed Modern Warfare 2. I don't really care about that. Um, they showed Halo ODST. Once again, I don't care about Halo. I hate it. Um, they announced a new Halo game. Um, but yeah, there was just a lot of great things. I would suggest watching it. I watched it on IGN.com. If you didn't. Oh, okay, there's one more thing. Um, they announced this new Xbox Live Arcade game called Shadow Complex. That's like a Metroid kind of game. And it looked really good. Um, they showed Mass Effect 2, um, Assassin's Creed 2, The Beatles Rock Band. So that's about it on the Microsoft. And by far, I think they destroyed the competition. Um, Nintendo, I'm going to do briefly. They announced Golden Sun DS, which I was happy about. They showed some more Kingdom Hearts 3, 358 over two days, which comes out September 29th of this year. Golden Sun comes out next year, I'm pretty sure. Um, they announced three new Mario games: Super Mario and Luigi, or Mario and Luigi RPG 3, um, Mario vs Donkey Kong, and New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Um, eh, I don't really like. Well, they actually announced four Mario games. And uh, Super Mario Galaxies 2. I forgot about that one. Uh, like, I'm I'm sick of them milking franchises, so I really wasn't big on that. Um, they announced, like, a Wii Fit Plus and some other bullshit crap from Nintendo. Basically, the, again, they went with the whole... Ca we're not focusing on hardcore gamers anymore. We're more focused on casual. Um, they showed some Red Steel 2, which... I really liked before they showed it, and after that, I was just kind of like, eh. They, one thing that surprised me, though, is Team Ninja, the people that, that made Ninja Gaiden, are doing the, uh, the new Metroid game, and it's going to be M-rated. So, and at least, look, they showed a preview, it looked sick as hell. Um, but yeah, Nintendo, they really dropped the ball again, in my opinion. Um, I mean, yeah, they showed games this year, but... It was just, I don't know, like, they could have really used something else. And Miyamoto didn't even go on. He had a closed session that, which where he did announce that next year he wants to uh, really, um, announce a new Zelda game for the Wii that uses Wii Motion Plus. So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's move on to Sony real quick. Sony disappointed me. Like I said, I wanted that, I was expecting them to just blow out Microsoft and Nintendo this year. And they just didn't. Um, it was a very boring conference. The Microsoft really was the only ones that didn't focus on charts and graphs this year, and showing statistics and shit like that. They just showed games and they showed demos, not videos. Sony's whole conference, almost the whole thing, was videos. They didn't have. They had like three demos of games that they announced, and one of them was Uncharted 2, which has already been announced. That was one of their main focuses in the beginning. Um, they did announce Final Fantasy XIV online, Final Fantasy XIV online for PS3. Um, I don't really give a shit. It's an online. Final Fantasy XI sucked, um, and it's exclusive for the PS3, which I doubt it since Sony sucks at keeping exclusives. Uh, it'll eventually go to Xbox, I bet. And um, I don't think it's gonna be very successful. It's kind of stupid that they're announcing that when. Final Fantasy Thirteen is a year away. Um, what else? They didn't really... They announced a motion controller also, which looked pretty cool. Um, but, again, it's just like, why focus on something that you're good at? Um, they announced a PSP MGS, which I was I actually looks really good. Peace Walker takes place in the 1970s, and you're a Solid Snake, and there's like a bunch of clones of Solid Snake that you can play as, I guess. And it just looked really good. I really like portable apps. But, um, I'm going to wrap up this video, so, Sony, I really was disappointed with Sony. I really thought they could bring in some more things. They announced Gran Turismo PSP, Gran Turismo 5, um, yeah, uh, the, the Little Big Planet PSP, 
Um, but yeah, they're really. I really was just disappointed. Um, but uh, so overall, I think Microsoft won again this year. And because uh, they, one thing I like about Microsoft is that, like I said, Nintendo and Sony focus so much, especially Sony, focus so much on charts and graphs saying, oh, the PSP has sold billion, a million, zillion things, and the PS3 finally made millions. And, I mean, it was just stupid. Um, and they didn't have enough substance in the things that they did show. Whereas Microsoft, they announced, like, Tony Hawk Ride, which looks sweet, um, but they announced, like, that, and then the guy, the guy just come up, came up and is like, the rest of the games are selling for, for the show are exclusives. And they showed demos for the exclusive. They didn't show a stupid video that was all C that was all CG. They showed demos, and that was what I liked. So Microsoft, good job this year.